Hi friends, this is Shanmuk. So in this video, I'll show you how to remove the SQL Server, okay, using your command. Okay, so let's go to the instance. Okay, so this is my Windows Server, and let's go to the uh, SQL instances that are installed in this machine. First, check what and all instances installed in this machine. Okay, open services.msc. There you can see how many instances are installed in this machine, and there you can see. There are three instances are there, default instance and SQL 2017 and SQL 2017 test UTD. Okay. So we'll remove SQL server using command prompt. Okay. We'll remove SQL server using command. I'll show you in this video. I'll show you how to remove a SQL server using a command. Okay. So before that, just choose which instance you want to remove then prepare a query accordingly so this is the regular query and if you go to this query you can see this is the command we are going to use okay to remove the instance using a command right setup.exe slash qs quite simple action is equal to you are doing an installation so action is equal to uninstall features just mentioned specific features guys as we have multiple instances in this machine you can see so don't remove shared components okay so remove only specific components so usually these three are very important specific components sql engine is the main component okay and replication is a feature full text is a feature so if you remove these three components then the instance is going to be removed okay but make sure in case if you don't have any other instances you can remove okay complete sql server but if you have other instances make sure you remove only specific components of that particular instance okay if you have if you don't have other instances if you want to remove all the components and just you can simply mention comma and just simply okay uh, select the tools that's it it is going to remove all the components okay as i have some other instances also i am not going to remove okay any tools and all shared components should be there okay so and again precaution before and after removing the sql server it is better to restart your windows machine so make sure it is not going to affect other instances so take the proper downtime approval for this activity and then proceed for that and just copy this command okay open your command prompt in run as admin mode open your command prompt in run as admin mode okay then go to d prompt okay go to d prompt right d drive why because make sure guys my sql server software is there in the d drive okay this is my sql server software my sql means microsoft sql server software okay uh, it was already iso image is already attached with the d drive so that's why i am going inside my d drive and i am just opening this setup file okay so in case if you copy the software locally if you copied sql server 2017 software any of the drive just make sure you are going to open a command in the drive okay imagine you copied your sql server software to e drive sql software folder imagine you just copied your sql server software to e drive sql software folder or fo software folders then make sure you are going to open the same folder in the command prompt okay e drive sql software like that make sure you open that particular command okay particular path in your c drive and it's not big difficult say you can use the cd command change directory or change drive okay so using the those commands you can simply okay change the folders and all in your command prompt right so this is our command right and control a control c and make sure in case if your command is like two lines three lines and all make sure it is a single line command okay and copy the whole command and paste it in your command prompt okay then you can see this is the command as we already did a lot of modifications now no need to do anything you can directly hit enter and then installation uninstallation sorry uninstallation process will be started and then sql server will be removed completely okay so this is how we can remove the sql server using command prompt so you can see no need to choose any option automatically instance removal will be started
no need to choose any option simply make sure the command is correct once you run it for the first time next time onwards you can keep using the same command so you can see the uninstallation process is started which will take hardly two to three minutes okay so let me pause this recording or else we'll wait for that okay till it is going to remove we'll wait for that and then i'll show you the final screen okay Right, hardly took just one minute, I guess, one minute. So once everything removed, so you will get your D prompt, okay? It is, it is going to return the D prompt. So if it is returning D prompt means there are no errors. If there are any errors, it will return the errors. Okay, so in this way, you can easily identify whether your uninstallation is successful or not. And then, okay, go to your services.msc this instance we have removed right so refresh it check whether this instance is there or not right click refresh and then see you can see there are there is no sql 2017 test utd instance you can see only two instances earlier we have three instances now you can see two instances one default instance and one named instance so this is how we can remove the sql server okay using a command prompt thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my to my channel and I'm going to upload a lot of videos like this. Thank you, guys.